morning. I'm just back from a lovely run and I have so many things going through my head at the moment that I want to bounce them out there and see if anyone has any comments or answers. Um, firstly, on a positive, such a joy run. You know, even if I'm feeling tired, which I am this week, to get my feet on the ground and just to feel that energy that's flowing through earth and through me and my body healing and even so a little dragonfly which to me is always a positive sign and I finish my run and I put my feet in the river and just let them get so cold that they hurt just to remind me that I'm alive. Um, so here goes. I, um, I'm struggling a bit with everything that I see and notice in the world and observation can very quickly sound like judgment but when you are just allowing it to be for what it is and taking that information that you you see and just trying to assimilate it and, and the question in my mind is always you know what what can I do here how can I make sense of this and I just I lay on the bed last night as we both do to wind down in the evenings and I just had this overwhelming feeling that we're actually going past a point where I can't see so much returning to, 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 to normal. Um, I often play a game where I'll, you know, if I'm standing in a supermarket line, I'll just, I'll just look around me. Like people's bodies talk. They tell you about wellness or sickness. They, you know, you, you know about nutrition. There's so much. And yet, at, in our current world, you're not allowed to say anything. You're not allowed to say anything. And yet, the statement standing in front of me, looking at all of the people, is that eight or nine people out of ten are overweight or obese. And that's shocking. Not because I'm fat shaming. That's potential diabetes, that's potential cardiovascular disease, that's potential cancer, that's potential autoimmune, con autoimmune conditions, that's musculoskeletal pain, that's mobility problems, that's reduced health. And t I, I don't know. So patients come in to me and they've been through so much. I've never seen so much go on ever and I'll spend a lot of time working through you know the triggers the causes the underlying factors what we need to find out what we can do I put a lot of time and effort into it and I'll spend time connecting and I know there's a genuine desire in everyone to heal but it's almost like I used to work with drug addicts in England and they used to break my heart because so many were such a special bunch. But I knew unless their entire lives changed, the odds were stacked against them with coming off of their methadone and staying off of heroin or whatever it was. And that was fact. If they didn't change the environment around them, the dealers were going to come back, the life situation. So I, I learned that lesson in my 20s. Sometimes if we can't change what's around us, nothing's going to change. It's going to be too hard for us. Um, but, you know, I, I would consider Ireland a, an affluent, privileged country. And we have a lot in our power to create change. And yet, I know when patients are going back home, lives are just so busy and so chaotic and so stuck in a rat race of can't do enough, women can't do enough, men can't do enough. Like we're trying to do everything. We're trying to be brilliant athletes, brilliant business people, you know, super parents where the kids are doing 50,000 sports and the whole structure, I don't know. Is it just going to collapse or am I just looking in from the outside and not understanding? But the health problems, they stay because the change fundamentally in terms of diet and lifestyle isn't happening and there is no amount of 
supplements or retreats or following cultish people on Instagram that's actually going to change that. And I just, I'm actually starting to think, well, yeah, the only way we're going to solve all this is all of the drugs. You know, I, I can't see these really serious conditions being turned around if, if we're not prepared to make a huge effort. And it is actually a huge effort. Um, and I maybe it's not in everybody's makeup. Like, it takes a bit of time every day to nourish the body, to move the body, to give it rests and breaks, to know when to push and to pull back. It's sort of a sequence of unconscious decisions. Like to me, this body that I've been given is the vehicle for me to experience life in. Like I am so grateful. I've been born with a relatively, let's call it perfect body. Like of all my arms, my limbs, my fingers, my toes, um, Yes, I've had a, a lot of health challenges. It seems that's how I understand and learn patience. I've been dragged through it and I've always come out. Maybe that's sheer determination. I don't know. But um, I, I, I choose to be healthy every day. I choose to eat good food. I choose to put in the time and investment because I know that feeling good in my body is the best thing out of out of everything this is how i experience life and having health and energy really really matters i think to actually all of us but we're we're in a world now where it's it's harder to eat well than it is to eat shit it's easier to take a pill than it is to solve health problems it's easier to stay stuck than it is to dig in and solve these things and, and, and move on, but it's coming at a cost to society and a bit like, do you know the way you're listening to the radio and there'll be all these arguments and you'll be sitting there going, I'm earning money, I'm paying tax, my tax is getting wasted, nothing's getting done and you know, the people that are earning are making the money that helps support a lot of other things that happen in the country and that drives everybody nuts and we all get very upset about it but at the end of the day aren't we really lucky that we're making money so there's kind of that but did you also think that everything that's driving the fast food industry is polluting every everybody else everyone everywhere there's you know the solution becomes drugs and chemicals they go into the environment and they never come back out they're not detoxified through water filtration systems you know, we're all taking a dose of drugs every day and that's just going up and up and up. And everywhere we decide, I put one minute cap on these. So, you know, everywhere there's a fast food industry that is, or an industry that's putting pollution into the environment, even though I may not choose as best I can to be part of that, it's going to affect me anyway. The mercury, cadmium, arsenic, lead, whatever. Um, the persistent chemicals, solvents, you name it, it's just going up and up in our environment. Um, the cost of healthcare and sickness, that burden, the, the medication that's going into the environment, it never gets broken down. So all of us are taking a dose of medication in our water, even though we may be choosing not to, um, where, you know, we're allowing food to have so much preservatives or sorry pesticides and herbicides um on them we're all consuming that indirectly even if we're choosing to buy the organic food or we're choosing to grow our own it's going into the environment it's affecting the soil it's affecting all of us the antibiotic resistance do you know it's just i was thinking this morning no matter what way you go about it those that are striving to do one thing are being impact by, impacted by everything going in the other direction. So how do we even start to create change? And I, th I do think it's, it is all in the small things. It's all of us, you know, voting with small actions. I will grow some food because that will lower the burden somewhere. I will choose to be healthy because that will lower the burden somewhere. I will choose to help those that want to be helped because that will lower the burden somewhere. I will support everyone around me and my family with what I know because that will lower the burden everywhere. And I think we're all really overwhelmed 
And there's some of us living in countries or in situations where we can do more. Um, I think Ireland generally gets off really, really lightly. Like we've just had a lot of rain this summer. Other other countries have had insane heat waves or forest fires, you know, which are putting a, a great stress on, on, on people in those countries. And, and yet in Ireland, we're kind of all being sort of apathetic and not really doing anything. And I think it is up to us to do a little bit more somewhere um, to slow down a bit, to be more present, to just show up a little bit more, um, to be a bit more grateful. Um, so it's constantly asking yourself, what, what small things can you do? So just this little little sequence of, can we, can we show up a little bit better every day? Um, I think in Ireland, we're incredibly privileged. We've got away with a shit summer. Others have had crazy heat waves, forest fires. Um, people have died as a result of whatever the climate has been doing this, this summer. Um, and I think if we can slow down and be grateful and mindful of everything that we have around us, maybe we can do little things that spread out a bit more goodness, a bit more action, a bit more, a bit more change. Just being in a coffee shop and slowing down, noticing that person behind me doesn't look very happy maybe I'll just say hello or the person behind the tail looks like they're having a stressful morning I'm not going to add to it even though I'm in a rush because the rush doesn't really matter you know can I support the local veg grower a bit more even though it's a bit more expensive because it's actually about the quality of food not the quantity we've we, we've way too much food um so just think to yourself is there some small things that I can do better can I try a bit harder? Can I relieve the burden on the rest of society by stepping up and being a bit more responsible and accountable on my part? Um, and yeah, some people are carrying others and then others carry us. It kind of all balances out in various ways. But I think if we can, we should. And in terms of, of me, well, I'm still sort of rumbling with... How much energy do I give when it doesn't seem to be taken lately? Um, I'll figure that one out, I guess. But just mind yourselves. Mind your bodies. Minding your body isn't about punishing your body. It's about listening to your body, supporting it, nourishing it, resting it, moving it, challenging it, resting it, challenging it some more, um, making it joy. We're here to experience and our default is, is health. Love you lots.